Yeah, I'm heading there now. I'll be there within maybe five minutes or so. <sighs> yes, I am indeed aware that it was later than we discussed. You try spiking someone's drink without them noticing. You hired me for a reason, didn't you? Exactly, that's what I thought. Now shut your mouth, or I can just let her go and tell them who was behind this. That is still an option for me, and it always is. Just to remember that. Good. Now that we have that out of the way, I've gotta go. The person you told me to get will probably wake up in about one minute, maybe two if I'm lucky. I just hope you picked a person that can actually keep their mouth shut this time. I am aware this is not the first time that you have hired me. And I am aware that you pay a pretty good amount of money. But I treat every single one of the people that hire me the same. So do not think that I have more tolerance for your people than for any others. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> I'm nearing my location. I should get going. Whatever. Oh, well, looks like someone finally woke up. <sighs> Don't try screaming. There's duct tape on your mouth and you're tied up. There is literally nothing you can do. Just enjoy the ride. It's what most people do. Oh, so you heard the phone call. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter since most of the people I have to kidnap end up dead anyways. But that was the person that hired me. At least I am formal enough to make an introduction for myself. The name is Kaide. I'm an assassin, I guess you can call it that. I get that people and pretty much do anything my client tells me to. So please don't go thinking that you have some connection to me or anything like that. I just do what I'm being paid for. I'm serious though, stop struggling, it won't make it any better. The only thing that I'll do is make the rope hit your skin so you get burn marks. Right, you can't talk. Well, we'll get to our destination soon enough. Maybe then I'll actually let you talk. No promises though. Also, be warned. I might seem quote unquote chill, but please. For the love of God, don't you dare test my patience. I hate people who do that. But it's not like any of them lived to tell that story. It's just a heads up. After all, why would I want to hurt such a pretty face like yours? <laughs> There's the fear in their eyes. God. It's always the same with you people. The fear in your eyes, thinking, oh, maybe someone will come and save me. And yet, disappointed by the fact when nobody, and I mean nobody, shows up. Please don't think you'll survive this. I have been doing this for two years, and not a single one of my clients, as far as I know at least, have told me that their victim survived. If I didn't kill them, it was most likely them. And, but at that point, why even hire me? I can't complain though, it pays the bills, that's much is for sure. What did I just tell you? Shut up! Stop trying to talk! Do you think that was a joke? I can teach you what it means to fuck with me if you keep going. So just shut up, do not try to break free, 
and wait until we are where we're going. God, why does this guy always pick the most impatient fucking people? Anyways, at least there's a plus point to all of this. The drug I spiked your drink with. You might be awake now, but that drug does work in waves. Just give it like another minute and you'll be passed out again. Which benefits the both of us. Because that means there's still a possibility that I don't have to slit your throat after we are done. Because then, how would you know the location if you never saw where we arrived? We only have two more minutes left before we arrive. You better hurry up with falling asleep again. Otherwise, it definitely won't be pretty. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Fucking idiot. <sighs> Anyways, I'm almost there, I guess. Hey, wake up. I said wake up. I know you are pretending to sleep. I can see it in your eyes. They're twitching. <sighs> what did I say? Wake up. There you go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Yeah, whatever. Cry all you want. I'm glad you can at least talk. I swear to God. Sometimes I don't get paid nearly enough for this. Why does it matter to you why I do this? Are you not concerned about yourself right now? You are in a place you have no idea how you got here. And yet all you can think of is why is he doing this? And I will give you that answer. It's for money. Please do not think that I'm doing this because I fucking want to. If I wanted to do this, I wouldn't have asked for money in the first place. I would have just killed you on the spot. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Try and act like you care. <sighs> just shut up. I need to do something real quick. Alright, now that that's out of the way... Let's get to the part you are probably questioning. Why exactly you are here? And who ordered me to kidnap you? Well, the second part I cannot answer. I never meet face to face with my clients. The only way I know how someone has already used me is either by their phone number, well, given they're stupid enough to actually let it be the same one, or by their voice. So, now to the first bit, as to why you are here. Well, according to my client, you have a bit of information that he needs if he doesn't want to get in trouble. What he means by this, I have no clue. But, how about we figure that out together? We can do this two ways, and you already know what I'm going to say here. We can do this the easy way, and have you just spill everything right here. Or, we can of course do this the hard way. That's also always another possibility. And it's most likely the possibility everyone picks, because everyone is just oh so stupid. You really get surprised of how brave people will act, even though they're scared to death. I've seen it though. People actually die because they don't want to lose their pride, and it's absolutely ridiculous. So, let's start with this. Recognize this photo? I don't know who it is. Do you recognize them? I hope you do. <sighs> okay, that's a start. Well, this person needs a little bit of information from you. What exactly that is, like I said, I have zero clue. 
but we can sit there for a while. Most of the time I do things very similar with everyone. I give them maybe a few hours, let it sink in what situation they're actually in, because some don't realize it and think this is something funny. And then we'll just start gradually making you go insane. There's different methods to this. Loud noises, abuse, mainly physical, but sometimes also mentally does the trick. I can go on, but I think you get the gist of it, right? Yeah, exactly. So, please tell me. Let's make this quick, shall we? I don't have the entire day. I have a kid I have to look out for. Cut the crap, okay? I know you do not give a single shit about my life. Why would anyone? Nobody does. And it's always been that way. And that kid is my life. So shut up and give me the information I need so I can actually get paid. <laughs> oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Ah, <sighs> we've got another one. Another girl that thinks they're oh so fucking brave. <laughs> Fine then. If you think you really don't know what this person wants, keep it that way. Why should I bother? Every single person is the same. They act like they care. They don't give me the information. They just make my life a fucking mess. So... Hard way it is. Do you remember now? We can go harder if you want to. Did it sink true yet? The situation you're in? I swear to god, some of you people must be fucking blind. <sighs> Shut up about my kid. For the love of God. You don't care. I know you don't care. So just shut up. <sighs> I'll just leave you here for a bit. Let it sink in what you're actually going through. <sighs> Although, I have a feeling that red mark on your face will say enough. Alright, hi, I'm back, why don't we try this again, now that I've actually regained control of my emotions. Like I said, I want you to shut up about it, and just give me the info I need. You can stare at me all you want, after two years of doing this, I can read people better than you think. You're on the verge of crying right now, correct? Everyone does the same thing. They try and tilt their head just that little bit. So it looks like they're not crying. But it always doesn't work. It just doesn't. You start seeing a pattern with these things when you, I don't know, kidnap 10, 20, 30, heck, fucking 40 people. Everyone does the same. I know you're gonna cry. And it's gonna be the same like... Uh-huh. Say that again, please. Well then. That actually took a turn I wasn't expecting. You must be pretty proud of yourself. I don't get surprises like that that often. But I will say fun one thing. Thank you so much, darling, for keeping this quick. It only took you two hours, which is a record of fast a time, because sometimes I keep people in here for a week. And I hate keeping the same people in here for a long time. 
Despite how it may look, you actually can form a bond with people if you kidnap them and spend a lot of time with them. If you're always trying to get information out of them, they'll end up spilling things, you end up learning more about them. <laughs> I thought Stockholm Syndrome always was bullshit until I actually started this job. It's really fascinating, don't you think? How people can be proven wrong oh so easily. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, I might have gotten the info from you, but that doesn't mean I'm done with you. Personally, to the people that are interesting to me at least, I'd like to ask a few more questions. Good, you seem to understand now that there's no getting out of that. So, what about you? What's your family situation right now? <laughs> oh, doesn't that sound great? Your parents are in another country, and you do not have a single soul to worry about. It's something I want, and on the other side, I absolutely don't want. Because like I said, I have someone to worry about, and that's why I do this. Otherwise, I would go broke within months. Listen, just shut up about this, okay? I know I brought this up, and I know this is my fault that you started talking about this again, but it never gets better. Every single person I have told this says the same thing. Go get a job. Do this. Do that. It's not that easy. Why do people not understand that? It is not that easy. I would not be doing this if I had literally any other option. This is just how it happened and how I pay my bills. I I never wanted this, you know. I, I was perfectly content with working some stupid retail job. I was perfectly fine with that. And then all of a sudden I had a kid. And of course I was happy with that. And of course, what do you know? The person that gave me that child just bailed. This wasn't for a single second what I imagined my life would be like. This... This isn't how I wanted it to be. You get that, right? It just... It's just the easiest way for me to care for my child. That's literally the only thing that's keeping me here, is the lack of money. Otherwise, I would just love, and I mean I would love, to get out of this hellhole of a career. Because this is not a career. This is just hell. I actually... I actually said that to someone. Well, that was... Unexpected. Alright, well... I got the info from you. That's... that's what matters. So, if you shut up about this, you can actually leave. Okay? Excuse me? Did you not hear what I just said? There is not a single way that I can provide for the person that needs it. Besides this, nothing works. I am not cut out for a regular job. To be honest, I'm not cut out for this either, but it's what I have to do. Excuse me? <laughs> Live with you for a bit. 
I can't believe what I'm hearing. I think you are insane. You didn't know what you're proposing, right? I spiked your drink. I carried you here. I've hit you multiple times. And yet you offer me this. Why? Because you can see that I don't want to do this. <sighs> it would be nice to not have to worry about this for a little while at least. <sighs> God fucking damn it, I'm actually gonna do this. Alright, get up. Your restraints, if you try hard enough, you can get out of your restraints. It's something nobody knows because everyone's too afraid to do that. But you can get out of them. <sighs> get up. We're taking my car. Tell me where you live and we'll go. I just have to pick up my kid on the way there. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Let's see how this turns out. Hey, I didn't ask for your name yet. <laughs> you have a pretty name. And thanks for this. <laughs>